Hi, Thailand is a top travel destination for many who wish to live and experience life in a new culture. The country is well known for its beautiful landscape, low living standard, and the warm hospitality of its people. It's indeed a traveler's dream destination. But what visa have you got to look for in order to live long term in a kingdom? This and many more will be discussed in today's video. Stay seated. Welcome back. If you are just tuning in, this is Dangos Diary. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do so. And of course, you can follow me on TikTok, Facebook and Instagram. What kind of visa do you need to stay long term in Thailand? Many travelers that ventures into the kingdom find it difficult to live because they are enticed by the beautiful culture and warm hospitality of Thais. Living here long term is no big deal provided you know what visa to look for. There are six different types of visa which I believe is much easier to come by if you intend to live in the kingdom. The first one is non-immigrant ED visa. With this uh, visa, you are able to live in Thailand long term and it's mostly for studies. That's why it's known as ED, which represents education visa. What you have to do to secure this visa is to look for admission in any of the universities and in any of the programs. You have to decide what level you wish to study, maybe undergraduate or postgraduate. Once you gain admission into any of these universities, they will provide documents for you to apply for a non-immigrant ED visa that allows you to live long term in the kingdom. Mind you, when you apply for this visa at a Royal Thai Embassy abroad, the visa that will be issued to you is valid for 90 days after which you are expected to apply for a yearly extension at any of the immigration offices in the kingdom and this visa is valid based on the duration of your program of study let's say you enroll in a program that is four years therefore you are entitled to a long-term stay within a period of four years in the kingdom of thailand many people that love to study up for this visa others do up for this visa because they intend to live in the kingdom without necessarily having uh, studies in their mind the next type of visa that you may quickly jump into is non-b visa for employment purposes yeah if you wish to make some money while living in the kingdom you may as well decide to teach you're working as a teacher or maybe uh, have full-time employment in other sectors once you are employed your employer will help you obtain a non-b visa which is for employment once you get this visa in any nearby thai embassies and you come back into the kingdom you also have 90 days validity during this point in time you are expected to visit your local immigration and apply for a long-term stay based on your contract the rule is these types of visas are renewable after one year so if you are a teacher in this case after applying for a one-year work permit you go to your local immigration office to have an extension that is for one year and the visa is valid as long as you continue working in the kingdom especially with the same employer otherwise if you happen to change your job you need to start the process all over the next type of visa that will grant you a long-term stay in thailand is the non o visa for a thai uh, spouse or thai family that is to say if you are a foreigner that is fortunate to get married to a thai you are entitled to a spousal visa you can apply for this visa at any of the thai embassies abroad and once you are in the kingdom this visa can be extended for a five years period but there is a catch because you need to show proof of finance it's between 400 plus right up to 500 this amount should be in your bank account and you should equally update your bank statement to show that you have enough fund to take care of your Thai spouse. If you have the financial resources, then you'll be able to secure this visa, which is long term. It automatically gives you a five years 
or stay in the kingdom. Many experts in Thailand that have Thai women or Thai partners do opt for this kind of visa. The fourth type of visa that you may also want to think of is a non-immigrant or guardian visa. With this visa, you can as well live in the kingdom long term based on the condition that you are a father to a Thai child or a mother to a Thai child which grants you the privilege to stay in the kingdom long term taking care of your child but again you have to prove that you have the enough uh, cash to take care of this child in this case you have to show a, a proof of employment that grants you 40,000 Thai baht in a month as salary or maybe you show proof of a uh, source of income that equals this amount 40,000 once you have the financial resources again you'll be able to apply for this visa within the kingdom and closely related to this guardian visa is equally uh, non b work visa for teachers like dependent visa if you are a teacher in the kingdom and you have uh, a work permit and you've had an extension you can equally invite a relative to come over based on this visa provided you have sufficient fund in your account to show that you can take care of your relative and the fifth type of visa that you may want to think of is the elite visa this is a new uh, visa that is introduced by TAT Thailand uh, tourism Authority of Thailand, excuse me, and that's TAT. This type of visa was recently introduced, five years uh, early visa, which ranges right up to a period of 20 years. You can equally secure this visa, provided you have enough money to invest within the kingdom. And the last type of visa that you may apply for to live long term in the kingdom of Thailand is a tourist visa yeah it goes without saying that uh, many people come into the kingdom with a tourist visa but do you know that this tourist visa can equally help you to live long term in the kingdom it can but it's a bit hectic and maybe costly because you have to exit the kingdom every time you have to like extend your stay in the kingdom but if you have the opportunity to apply for a multiple entry tourist visa then it works best many people opt for this especially business people that live uh, in the kingdom within a short period of time and exit and come back again if you are this type of person then the multiple entry tourist visa might work best for you it's very flexible it gives you the option to visit the country regularly carry out your activities and leave anytime that you want to so there you go these six types of visa will help you to live long term in the kingdom if you have any question please leave a comment in the comment section of this uh, video and equally check the links in the comment section of this video to learn more about thai visa and employment in the kingdom thanks for watching have a lovely weekend ahead and if you like the video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you next time. Bye.